Hi there, welcome to the step 9 of the Mockito course. In the previous step, we learned how to capture an argument which is passed to a method which is called on a mock. In this step, we would learn about Hamcrest matchers. What we'll do during this step is add the Hamcrest matchers library to our POM and get that dependency into our project. And then we would look at how the Hamcrest matchers make writing assets very easy. You can see these code snippets. You can see that asset that scores has size 4. Asset that scores has items 101. 101. Asset that scores ha uh, has every item greater than 90. Asset that empty is empty string. So this is much readable than the usual asset equal syntax. Hamcrest matches bring in this kind of a syntax which makes your test readable. One of the most important things about code is that code should be as much readable as possible. Clarity of code is very important. When I write something, everybody should be able to understand it. And that's what Hamcrest matches would allow us to do. They'll allow us to write asserts in such a way that everybody will be able to understand them and it will usually result in very maintainable application. Let's get started now. We are in step 9 and what we want to start with is adding the Hamcrest library. So if you look at the group ID, it's org.hamcrest and the artifact ID is Hamcrest library. We want to use the assert uh, things from the Hamcrest library. So we will add this dependency in. So I'll copy the snippet, the dependency and add it to my pom.xml. So I'll add it as a new dependency in my pom.xml. Um, I have not yet saved it. You can see the Maven dependencies right now for this particular project. There are JUnit, Hamcrest Core and Mockito all. So I'm going to save it. You'd see that there's a new uh, dependency which is coming in, which is the Hamcrest library. And the Hamcrest library is what we would be using for all the assets that we write in this particular class. Hamcrest Core only contains the basic stuff. Hamcrest library contains a great deal of assets which would really help us in writing more readable tests. So that's the library that we have added into the POM and we see that it's added to our Maven depot dependencies. So we have that available for us to use. So let's go ahead and create our test. I'll go ahead and create something in COM in 28 minutes. Mockito. So I'll say right click, right click new. I would want to create a test class. So I'll say other or oh, here is JNA test case. So I can use that and I would want to call this uh, Hamcrest matches test. I'll remove this fail as usual and we can now get started with using a Hamcrest matcher. What I'll create is a simple list. Uh, I will hard code this for now. List of integer uh, scores is equal to let's say arrays.as list and I'll have a few scores added in. I have a list now arrays with four numbers and let's say this is the output from some program. So I'm writing a unit test and I see that I call the method that I would need to call the system under test and scores is the output I got. And now I would want to assert things on the score. Now let's start with asserting, um, let's say how many items are there. So I want to assert that scores has um, four items. Let's do that. The method which we'll be using is assert that, um, assert that scores. Um, has size of 4. Let's save this and I'll ask it to add the starting import. So let's save this and run this test. Ah, there you go. That's successful. So now I'm able to check that scores has size 4. Uh, let's now have something else. So I said that scores has items. Uh, let's say I want to check whether these items are there in the scores. I'll go ahead and add a static matcher for the matchers has items 99 comma 100. Let's go ahead and run this. You'd see that this would succeed because both items are there. If you add some item in here, which is not there, let's say 106, it fails. So it's saying expected a collection containing 99, but a collection containing 106 was not found. So it's saying 106 was not really found. Let's say I want to make sure that every item in this list has some condition. Every item on that list has some specific condition. So let's say I want to make sure that every item in this list is greater than 90. I said that 
scores every item is greater than how much 90 let's press ctrl 1 add static imports static imports again i'm using it from matchers all the time uh, because core matchers has only some of the methods not all the methods so i'll go ahead and use matchers so now i can go ahead and run this so you can see how cam hamcrest matches make it very easy for us to write unit tests so and it's very readable so as i said that scores every item is greater than 90 or you you would have something very similar so you can say every item is instead of greater than i can say less than 190 i'll go ahead and add the matcher for less than and run this there you go that's successful as well what you can see is some of these matchers some of the matchers are present in core matchers as well that's the one which def by default uh, it's a dependency on mockito so you'd get the core matchers by default when you uh, import mockito uh, but core matchers does not have all the all the methods that matchers have so if you look at things like match greater than um, less than these are things which are only present in the matchers i mean in, in the hamcrest library these are not really present in hamcrest core that's the reason why we imported hamcrest library until now we looked at how to write uh, a few asserts on the list so there's a list of items i would want to check a few things on that particular list and this is how you can assert that kind of stuff instead of you trying to go into the list and check everything instead of using assert equals these methods provide you with a greater flexibility let's look at a couple of useful string related assets so assert that uh, let's say you are getting an output from a method call let's say that's a string so if you want to check that it's empty so you can say is empty that it's a empty string and then you can add the static import so this would help you in asserting that something is empty string and you can actually also assert if something is empty or null so you can say if it's null you can say empty or null string and add the static import for that so this is trying to make it more readable so on a string i can check if it's empty string or empty or null string in a easy way so this typically would be an output from some program you are running some unit test you are running and you want to check that it's not empty string and similar to this there are utility methods which are present on arrays as well let's quickly create an array so i'm creating an integer max is equal to one two three um, we'll do two things on this specific array the first thing what we want to do is we want to assert that this array has a specific size so the size of this particular array is three so i want to assert that as usual max ha array with size let's see if there's a method yep there's a method matches dot array with size so array with size what's the size of the array so this would allow us to say assert that max is an array with specific size in addition to checking for size we can also check a few things so if let's say i want to check whether a specific array contains the exact list of values so i can say array containing and here i have to give all the items which are present in the array so i want to make sure that this is an array which contains one comma two comma three this would check if this particular thing has these three elements the test would succeed and going further uh, the important thing is array containing would expect elements in the order they are in the array so if let's say you don't want to worry about the order then you can say array containing in any order so you can say in any order i don't care about the order so they can be two one and three so i can actually go ahead and right click run or all shift x run as junit test and you'd see that this test would succeed okay so we we are looking at different ways of how to assert things using matchers on uh, we started with lists we looked at strings arrays and there are a huge range of methods which are present in matchers so instead of trying to cover each one of them i think the best way for you to understand what are the different options that are present in matchers is to open up the matchers class so what i'm doing is i'm clicking uh, this control click or command click so press the control button and click this particular class so it will open up this one so if it might take a little while for you to be able to see the code sometimes because eclipse takes some time to deep compile this but once it opens up you'd be able to see all the hamcrest matcher methods so 
the if if you want to see the uh, different methods which are present in here you can press control o or command o and it would bring up all the methods which are present in here and there are a very variety of matches which are present in here so the thing is in matches there are things which say the, check that this particular list contains everything in this particular list or it contains any of these particular this and as you can see there are a lot of methods which are present null value not null value and array containing is what we used array containing in any order array with size is what we used as well and uh, we looked at uh, like there are things to check if it's uh, empty collection so it's basically to check whether something is empty and the order thing that we use so we checked contains in any order that's what we made it use of if you are using hash maps then you have methods like has key has value has entry so there are a variety of methods which are present so less than is what we made use of less than or equal to is another vector which is present in here equals to ignoring white case so there you see a lot of methods which are present in matches you can play around these me methods as an exercise after this specific step um, there are a lot of variety of matcher methods and i'm sure this would be really useful in writing really good tests the idea behind this step was just to give you an introduction at the variety which was possible with matches until the next step bye bye there is one question we are frequently asked what do i learn next our in 28 minutes course guide has the answer to that question think about this for a moment what gives most satisfaction to a course creator lots of money yeah it does but what else great reviews yay that's it for me the happiest moments are when i really receive great reviews and we had 1500 such moments in the last eight months so that's 1500 five star reviews in the last eight months alone thank you for that these reviews really reflect what we wanted to achieve when we started in 28 minutes there is one question we are frequently asked what do i learn next our in 28 minutes course guide has the answer to that question it has the details of our most popular free and paid courses you will find a link to it in the description of the video let's take a quick overview of the different courses that we created for you as kevin says the java ee made easy course gives you the big picture there are a lot of pieces that make up the java ee and this course would help you to understand how all the pieces fit together the spring mvc course takes you through a journey of building a web app in 25 easy steps. As Alexander says, we follow the 2080 principle and take you through a great journey with Java servlets and JSP, building a Java EE web application in 25 easy steps. Maven is the dependency management framework used in more than 80% of the projects. This course takes you through a journey with Maven with real world examples. And we have courses on C for beginners and also C puzzles for interview preparation. We have a huge list of free courses as well. Spring, Eclipse, JUnit, Design Patterns, Java, Test Driven Development, Transaction Management, JavaScript, Java Collections, Mockito. And we are number one on YouTube for Java interview questions. Good luck with your learning. Always remember that the best way to learn is by doing. You would never learn riding a bike by just watching somebody do that. Similar to that, learning programming is all about getting your hands dirty. Keep getting your hands dirty and good luck.